Hello and welcome to another tutorial from Ben's Books. Today we're going to be creating our first database inside of MySQL. Okay, so there's going to be three ways that we can do this. Depending on the methods that you are using uh, to practice, uh, depends on the way, method that you use. Okay, uh, the first method, if you're using XAMPP uh, or something similar for a local host, um, on PHP, my admin itself, there is the create new database. Okay. Uh, so you can use this, um, or if you are on your web hosting um, control panel and you go into your cPanel, there is the MySQL database wizard or MySQL databases. Okay, I would suggest just use MySQL databases just because everything's there at one time. Um, but poor means if you want to use the wizard, no problem at all. Okay, uh, and thirdly, if I can find it. Uh, you can use SQL, which is just a script that MySQL accepts uh, to create certain things and run certain tasks. Okay, um, most of the time I will be writing in SQL. It's a good habit to get into, although it's probably maybe the longest way to do things, uh, but at least be able to do it. Okay, uh, when it comes to tables and stuff like that, sometimes it is nice to use the wizards. Okay, um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to run through all three of these examples to create a tables. And um, we'll go from there. Okay, so the first the first way we're going to create a table, uh, sorry, a database, is uh, through SQL. Okay, and it's a pretty simple script. Um, just so you know, you got to click up here for SQL. Okay, so I'm on my local host here on XAMPP. And if you click on SQL, this box come up here, just a text area. What I'm going to write is create database. And I'm just going to call it uh, tester. Okay pretty simple and that is SQL script okay so if I run click on go let it load and here we go right here on the left I have now a database called tester okay uh, so what I'm going to do I'm just going to quickly drop this table uh, database just so you know drop is basically delete okay so basically if you drop something it deletes it there's also empty which basically means it empty the contents of it Okay, so we've created just then test the table using SQL. Now again on exempt, I'm just going to use this create new database option here. Okay, on PHP my admin, and again just going to call it tester. D don't worry too much about the uh, all this stuff. If it's the same as mine, it's cool. Okay. Uh, again, click create. That's pretty straightforward. Let's face it. And uh, the database has been created, and now I'm inside of my database. Let's see over here, tester. Okay, and the final way, if I go onto my web host, um, this is just the MySQL databases. This isn't the wizard. Okay. So if I just create tester here, okay, so my database is actually going to be called uh, Ben's Box C underscore tester. Okay, but that's just because of uh, my my usernames and whatnot. Okay, That's, but uh, don't worry about that bit. I'm just going to create the database, and there you go. I've got the database called Ben's Box underscore uh, C underscore Tester. Okay, so there are three ways of making uh, creating a database in MySQL. Um, but like I said, I do recommend just learning SQL versions. Uh, I know this gets boring writing things, and it is easy just to use uh, the wizards, but it is important that you can use SQL, especially if you are looking to get into this as a career. Uh, most people do look for SQL skills. All right, so that's how you create a database. Pretty simple. Uh, and in the next tutorial, we'll be creating our tables. All right. Um, so thank you for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.